In the midst of the second wave of the COVID-19 pandemic, Ferndale Apartment Shillong, located in the heart of the city, adopted strategic steps in dealing with the ongoing situation. Speaking to the Northeast Today advisor of the society here, Professor Dunkupar Siem said that the plan to involve the community in fighting the disease was conceptualized last year with the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic. It was a result of a continuous involvement of the society since its conception, he added. That we are very fortunate to be here because uh, though we are uh, a heterogeneous community comprising of various uh, groups and ethnic uh, groups belong to different uh, religious uh, denominations and political affiliation. However, uh, we have been able to live in, uh, as a family uh, and over the years, the last uh, 12 years that I've been here, we have been able to do a lot of things together that has brought in a lot of trust uh, uh, by the members on the management of this uh, committee. We basically have uh, an executive committee which oversees and supervises the management of this complex. Now, uh, sometime, as and when there is a need to, as in this, uh, in this crisis here, we appeal to our members to come up with uh, some amount. Uh, for example, we have bought a whole lot of uh, equipment like uh, oxygen cylinder, oxygen concentrator, and uh, masks, uh, PPE suits, uh, wheelchairs, stretchers, and so on and so forth. You know, to ensure that uh, when there is a need to, uh, we can uh, address the problem. Because we have, again, like I said earlier, we have a number of doctors. You see, what is important here is we are not trying to say that we are replacing, we are a substitute for a hospital. We are saying that, you know, when it comes to sickness, time matters. Five minutes, ten minutes can, uh, can, bring, can save a human life. So if there's a, you know, we know that the hospitals in this uh, Shillong city is overstretched. It is uh, reaching a saturated uh, limit. So in that context, what will happen if there are no hospital beds? So here we are prepared even to also have, you know, places here that we have uh, identified and designated. If there's a need, we can have beds and put some life support system, at least till the time that the, the patient can be transferred to a hospital. I would uh, say that we are very well prepared, uh, given that we have uh, experience uh, to work together, because uh, the management is led by people who are very resourceful uh, in, in, in many different spheres. Pan this pandemic as such is a war. And like any war, uh, we have a war room where we uh, sit and discuss and talk and adopt several strategies and measures uh, put in place to, to make sure that our members here are safe and secure. It all boils down to how prepared we are in a war. So uh, we here, at least to a certain extent, we can say that we are prepared because even if there are consequent waves that come, we have put uh, measures here that can probably save lives. Uh, unfortunately, I have to say this, that some localities are well managed, some localities are pathetically uh, managed. Uh, they need to really raise the, the game. Because uh, Corona crisis, in in a very twisted way, has opened up our eyes. That unless until we are organised, uh, we are going to uh, a lot of people are going to suffer. So using this uh, medium, I appeal to my uh, the people residing in Shillong and uh, the rest of this state that uh, get yourself organised because that is going to save lives. Don't expect that only the government can come to you. Government is already uh, overstretched in the resources. So you have to depend on yourself. Okay, that is an important story. How you do it? You mobilize the resources that you have in your villages and localities. That's the step number one. And then you can move forward from there. So trust is very important. How do people place your trust in you? It's our performances. And they see through that we are sincerely working towards their betterment. So if they see that, they will give you a trust. And there lies the success 
of uh, any story for that matter. The managing committee here plays an active role in providing assistance to the residents in terms of treatment and isolation for Category A and B cases within the premises of the apartment. Through the Ferndale COVID Response Task Force that was formed at the wake of COVID-19, the society have been able to contain the diversity of the sickness without any casualties reported in the premises till date. Mr. Bijoy Sangma, a COVID-19 survivor, leads the team as a nodal officer to ensure that proper care are given, especially to those who are affected with the disease. So as a nodal officer, we take care of the management of COVID-19 situation in our complex, as well as we uh, liaise with the government, we liaise with the district administration, we liaise with the health, liaise with the health departments, and also people, those who are suffering here. It is quite a challenging because we have multicultural people, multi-ethnic background people and uh, from various professions and all. So it is quite challenging. But our community has been very uh, helpful and they have been cooperating in uh, managing the COVID-19 situation. As we liaise with the government, with the district administration and the health authorities, we, 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 we get the instructions from them. We... Uh, uh, fill them up with all the information that is happening here and they will in turn tell us what to do and that way we are uh, trying to lessen the burden of the uh, health department officials earlier in the first beginning in, in, in the beginning first or second time they had to come but now they don't have to come we take care and we tell them uh, the situation and we provide all the information we have also formed a disaster and emergency response task force and also we have a medical advisory subcommittee. We have 10 doctors in house. We are preparing people through awareness building, through information sharing, by uh, helping to monitor their health, those who are detected to be COVID-19 positive patients, and also helping them by providing the moral support that is required, physical support that is required. They want any uh, items, food or any groceries or anything, that our volunteers, we will uh, help them. And if the situation deteriorates that needs to be hospitalized, we will coordinate with the government authorities and 108 and we will help them in making their transportation and all whenever uh, uh, there is a need. In the first wave, we have around uh, 12 positive cases. And this year, from April, first week, Till today, we have 27 positive cases. Out of these 27, we have 10 active cases right now. And out of these 10, two are in hospital, and uh, rest eight are here under home quarantine. So we monitor them and we help them. It is not a policing job, but we try to help them so that they are comfortable. We know the stress they are going through. You know, I, I uh, was in hospital for 22 days, 11 days in oxygen support myself. So I understand the problem, the difficult, the struggle, the challenge that they are going through. Lots of uh, instructions that come from the district administration, we try to translate it into image format and sometimes into multiple languages because there are people from multi-ethnic background, English, Hindi, Assamese, Bengali. So all these four languages sometimes we translate and do it internet. We have our own communication system. In We have four blocks, so we have four large parking areas. So. We have already decided that should there be a need, we will just remove the cars and park in our guest parking areas and convert the parking lot into a makeshift uh, facility. Sharing the strategy of the society and having an organizing structure to tackle the situation, Sangma said. First thing was, we conducted a survey. Survey of people, how many people we have, what age group we have, how many lactating mothers we have, how many pregnant ladies we have how many old people we have. So we have all done those analysis by doing a survey, number one. And uh, before that, we also did not know what were our resources are, what our uh, needs are. So once we came to know, then we found out the resources. Then we found we have 10 doctors within our own uh, locality. We have pharmaceutical people from pharmaceutical industries in our own locality. We have people, businessmen in our own locality. So we found those resources and we did this resource mapping. Okay. So I am sure in all localities, some or the other, some link, network, some resources will be there, which people gather together and they can do things together. 
individually we cannot do. If you stay in your house alone, you stay in your house alone, then everybody will be individual, very selfistic uh, attitude will be displayed. So that will not help. We have to come together. Someone has to take the lead. And here we have a good leadership team who is doing that. So other localities also I would advise do resource mapping first. You no, know, do a survey. What are the available and whatever is extra required? There are government agencies. There are other organizations. Those who are helping, I think they can uh, approach those people. So of course, we have a better advantage than some of the localities uh, because we are a well structured and within one compound, and we have only two gates. It is easy to easy to monitor and manage. Uh, but if we compare to some other states or city in the country, our Meghalaya has a more advantage than them because we have very well organized Rangbasnongs. We have our localities and within Rangbasnongs also there are Rangbasnongs, village communities and all. So uh, it may be a little bit difficult than what we are doing here, but it is not impossible. They can do it. No, they can do it because uh, there is a cohesiveness among the community and uh, Rangba Snong has been doing already. With 168 residential units and about 600 population, the key to contain community spread here at Ferndale in Shillong is the community engagement. Helping each other will help save lives at such difficult times. This is Ferdinand Rani for Nordis Today.